Okay, we're going to do integration by parts using the table method, and we're going to start with the integral of x squared e to the x dx. So first we are going to make a table of u and dv. So in this case, our u would be x squared, and our dv would be e to the x. So down the entire line of u, we derive x squared. And down the entire dv, we integrate e to the x. We want to derive u until it reaches 0. Then we can cross multiply through the table. This will be positive, this will be negative, this will be positive, and this will be negative. So then, when we plug it back into a formula, we get x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x and then 0 times e to the x is just 0. And this is our end product. The table method still works for more complicated integrals. It's just a little more complex. So we have the integral of x ln of x. We set up our table u dv, where u will equal ln of x, and dv will equal x. When we derive down the table, we get 1 over x, and when we integrate down dv, we get 1 half x squared. Now we want to stop because we know that if we continue to derive 1 over x, it will just get more and more complicated. For example, if we do the next derivative, the next step would be 1 over x squared negated. This is more complicated than 1 over x. So that means that we want to stop deriving at 1 over x. So next we cross multiply like we did before. Where this is positive and this is negative. Then when we go to set up our equation, it will look like this. 1 half x squared times ln of x minus integral of 1 over x, 1 half x squared dx. When the final term in the u column does not go to 0, the last multiplication across will be in an integral. And that's the table method.